This is Finished Work TV, a place of inspiration, wisdom, and revelation. As you listen and receive God's Word today, your life will never remain the same. Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad. You are welcome to this live transmission broadcast as I bring forth the engrafted word of God. And today I'll be sharing how to benefit from your prophetic company. You know, God puts us in relationship, in prophetic relationship for the purpose of unlocking his will and having manifestation of his purpose. God put Elijah and Elisha together. Elisha was able to respond to that divine relationship. You know, sometimes for some people, God could put them in a relationship move them forward but they start looking at issues they should not be looking at and then they get distracted they get frustrated they abandon that prophetic company that god has given to them and when they abandon that prophetic company the tendency for them not to reach out and make a difference over there and, but we're looking at how to benefit from the prophetic company in your life. The first thing we need to establish is that you have to understand there is a prophetic company. It is your responsibility to make that connection, to know who God has put you and him or her or them together to run the reign together to run the race, to be able to do things. If you watch the life of Elisha, Elisha was loyal to Elijah. He was not loyal to him because he was just a man of God. He was loyal to the God in him. He was loyal to the leadership of the Spirit that is on the life of Elijah. He was willing to listen to him, willing to follow him. He was willing to respect his leadership. He understood that this is the, the voice of God speaking in my life. This is my man of God. Elisha never took Elijah for granted. He honored him. He honored the things that God has put in his ministry. And they had this strong connection and they were able to walk together. You know, sometimes in the ministry or in life or in business, our paths cross with some people and unknown to us, that is a prophetic company. This person has the grace of God in his life. This person has the ability of God in his life. And if we come together based on God's purpose, there will be an acceleration of vision. There will be acceleration of the will of God in our lives because we are together. God has brought us together. And that was one of the key to Elisha's success, loyalty to Elijah. His loyalty brought him to a place where he could benefit from the anointing that was on his life. You know, he, he was able to benefit from the anointing that was on Elijah's life, his loyalty. The next thing we saw in the life of Elisha was his obedience. His obedience was very strategic. His obedience was very strategic. He, he wasn't willing to abandon Elijah. 
he was willing to stay with him until God was through with the whole thing. You know, for some people, they could easily abandon when they don't understand, when they don't know that this is where this, this whole thing is going to. They feel frustrated and they walk away. Not Elisha. Elisha followed Elijah until the end. What's, what is the significance of that? We need to know where our destinies connect. One of the greatest challenges that most people are going through today is their inability to identify where their destiny connects. Who is connected to me? Who am I connected to? And who is connecting with me? Elisha benefited from that prophetic company with Elijah because of his submission. You know, submission is not a gift. Submission is cultivated. You decide to be a submissive person. Submission has to be based on the knowledge of the Word of God. True submission has to be consistent with the integrity of the Word. Someone can tell you to submit to them in rebellion, uh, submit in wickedness, submit in things that are not consistent with the will of God. No, true submission is not when you force people to take it from them. You know, that's not submission. True submission has to flow from the heart. It has to come from the heart. It, it shouldn't be something that, hey, you got to submit to me. I'm a man of God. Oh, you got to submit to me. True submission is something that flows out of people. It is not something we ask for or something we beg for that you must submit to me. No, give people an opportunity to make the choice to submit to you. If they don't submit to you, you don't have a problem with that. You just that just tells that this man is not with you. This man is not connected to you. So true submission is something that is very strategic when it comes to experiencing benefit in the, in the property company that God has put you into. So if I don't have submission, I can't make progress. There are so many people who could have gone very far with life, who could have done more with their life, but they don't understand the principle of submission. Look at Joseph. When, when Joseph was sold as a slave and he got to the house of Potiphar, he, he was willing to give his best. He was willing to give his best. He, he, he was able to steal what that relationship God has given to him with Potiphar. Potiphar was a gift of God to Joseph. Some people won't see it that way, but Potiphar was able to recognize the God in Joseph and said, since you came here, I noticed that God has prospered all you did. I, I noticed this blessing is on you, Joseph. Potiphar was able to see through, to see that God was at work in his life. Do you know it's encouragement when people look at your life and they see what God is doing and they appreciate it and tell you God is doing that. It has a way of increasing your energy. It has a way of bringing an inspiration to you. So uh, the, the man Potiphar could look at this guy called Joseph and said, hey, there is something unique about you. Since you came here, Things are working well. Businesses is getting better. We're having more sales. Things are getting better. So, if Joseph was rude to Potiphar, if Joseph was not humble, if Joseph was arrogant, he wouldn't have been able to steal what that relationship that God has given to him. You know, for so many people, they are missing out on the will of God because of their inability to steal what the covenant relationship that God has given to them, your profit will appear to you if you stay faithful to what God instructed you to do. Your profiting is going to appear to you if you stay faithful to what God has instructed you to do. Your, your level of faithfulness is going to impact your vision positively, your assignments, your purpose, whatever God has called you to do to benefit from your prophetic company 
You need to believe what God is doing through that company. You need to believe what is God saying. You, you know, for some people, they could hear something and then they begin to question you things like, did God really say that? Did God really say that? Is it you that is saying it? Or is it God that is saying it? If you're born again, you have the Spirit of God in you. Your spirit will be a witness. You don't need to ask the person, is it God? Is it God? Or is it you? Is it the word for everybody? Or is it the word for me? No. You have to, your spirit has to be a witness. You have the Holy Ghost in you. You have the Spirit of God in you. A lot of people in the body of Christ, so many people are not growing up spiritually. And for that reason, they can't even know when their spirit is bearing witness with what they are hearing. So they, they, are, they are looking for God to say it to them, which he's saying it to them, but there is how they want to hear it. There is how they want to hear it. They want to hear it in a way that's okay. The Lord has spoken. Even when they hear it that way, most of them will not still believe. Because faith coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, we, we, we see more result when we believe what God's word has said to us. That's how we see what I've said to us. That's how we see more result. So here is the answer. If you want to benefit from the prophetic company in your life, you need to understand when your spirit is bearing witness with what you're hearing. When your spirit is bearing witness, because we all have the Holy Ghost. If this is a man of God, he's a woman of God, and he's speaking, if he's speaking by the spirit of God, that same Holy Ghost is in you. He will tell you, yes, I'm the one saying that to him. Yes, I'm the one saying that to her. It is by faith we respond to what we're hearing. It is by faith we respond to what we're hearing. Because we can be hearing what can change us, but we're not responding. We can be hearing what would change us, but we're not responding. So it is by faith I hear we we'll respond to what we have heard. So your spirit bearing witness to what you're hearing is very strategic in unlocking increase. So hear ye the word of the Lord. The season of better things is upon you. Now that's the word of God for you. The season of better things is upon you. The season of better things. What do I mean by that? Better things that has to do with the plan, purpose, and the will of God for you is upon you. So you got to see that. You got to believe that. You need to begin to walk in the light of that. That there is a season of better things upon you. You need to see that. So to benefit from your prophetic company, from the company that God has given to you, honor. You know, honor for who is ministering to you is so important. You know, a lot of people in the body of Christ take for, for granted maybe if someone is ministering to them and the person is very close to them, the person is always sharing with them. And the tendency for them to take the person for granted is their, you know, familiarity begins to set in. That is another enemy that rob people from receiving from their prophetic company. They, they become so familiar with the person that they say, okay, uh, that is how he used, he, he used to talk. That's, you know, and they start missing out on what God is doing. When God is doing something, he expects you to connect with him. He expects you to connect with his thoughts. He expects you to connect with his thinking. If you are not careful, you can be distracted by your humanity that you forgot that divinity is having expression with this person. So what am I trying to say is this. You have to be in a place where you are quick to understand. This is one of the ways you... You receive from your prophetic company is that you're quick to understand. He said he, 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 will, he will give us quick understanding. One of the key things to succeeding in your purpose is quick understanding. That God grants you quick understanding to be able to move on in your assignment, move on in your purpose, move on in the things God has come to do. Quick understanding is the key to unlocking the treasures of the spirit. Quick understanding is the key to, to unlock the treasures of the spirit. If you don't have quick understanding, you could just miss it. It just, the word just came to you. The instruction just came to you. The insight just came, but you, you couldn't comprehend it because you are allowing your humanity to distract the expression of divinity.
So you need to understand for you to benefit from your prophetic company, you have to speak less and listen more. You know, you shouldn't be a kind of person you just want to say, just listen. Just listen in, in your in listening and paying attention. You'll be able to know when the Spirit of God is saying this, when the Spirit of God is ministering this, you know. And by the Spirit, we know. By the Spirit, we know. I've benefited from uh, so many prophetic companies that is on my life. People have come in contact with people that God has put me and them together. I've heard them say things like, do this, the Lord said this, you know. I, I get to receive those things from them. I, I didn't ask them, do you think it's God that is saying that? No, my spirit be a witness. I know that is the voice of God. I knew God was ministering. So I got to be sensitive to know when my spirit bears witness. Sometimes a word can come to you, but where you are spiritually in that moment or in that season of your life, you're not quick enough to be able to comprehend what you're hearing. So the tendency for you is that, well, can this be God or not? So just relax and wait until you're settled. You go back to that message. You go back to that email, you go back to that text, and you begin to read that message. You begin to receive that message. In 2015, a man of God from the U.S. sent me an email of what God was going to do in my life and ministry. It was in the month of September. I was in Lagos, Nigeria, preaching for a dear friend of mine. So I got to meet with this man of God. So he, he shared some things with me that the Lord was going to do in my ministry and life. So I took that email and most of the things he said, I believe them. Everything he said, I believe it. Because I knew it is by prophetic word, an atmosphere of possibility is created when you believe that prophetic word. When you believe that prophetic word, you are in a position to see more. When you believe that prophetic word, you are in a position to see more. You are in a position to have more manifestation more visitation. So what am I trying to say is this. If you want to benefit from your prophetic company, be flexible. Be flexible. What, what do I mean by that? Flexibility has to, has to be cultivated if we are going to be people who follow the flow of the Spirit. There is always the flow of the Spirit for every season of our life. There is a flow of the Spirit for every season of our life. There is a flow of the Spirit for every season of our life. And if you want to make progress, if you want to excel, you need to understand the flow of the Spirit. What is the Spirit saying? What is going on right now? The flow of the Spirit for this season. Uh, to the degree I am sensitive, is what determines how I make that connection. So being flexible, you shouldn't be a kind of a rigid person. Okay, this is what I believe. What about if God said, believe this? What about if God said, do this? You know, if you watch Genesis 26, the, the sorry, Genesis 22, in Genesis 22, the word of the Lord came to Abraham, said, take your Abraham, take your son to Isaac, to that man Moriah, and there you sacrifice him for me to be an offering. And now when he heard that, he started the journey, and he got to the destination. Before before arrival, his son asked him a question. There is there is a, a wood here. There is a fire here. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? He said, God will provide for himself. Now, the will of God he started with was to make him a bond, make him an offering to me. So he tied his hands and leg, and wasn't about to lift up that knife. And the angel spoke, you know, he heard the voice of God through the angel. And he stopped. He said, don't do that. There's a ram in the ticket. So you saw that there was a change here. God can start you with something only for you to get here. And he says, stop and do this. So if you're rigid, you can go ahead and do what you have been told and never walk in what you are being instructed to do for this now season. We need to understand the difference between when God has spoken and what God is saying now. There is a big difference, you know, that what God said 
what God is saying now. I can stay with what God said and miss the flow of God because I am rigid, because I'm locked in that thing I heard five years ago, what I heard 10 years ago. But if I'm not careful, I can miss out on the will of God. So I need to know what God has said. I need to understand what God is saying. This is how you have flexibility to be able to enjoy the flow of the Spirit. What is the Spirit doing in this season? What is the Spirit saying in this season? I believe that if you are going to benefit from the prophetic company in your life, don't be a kind of person who is stubborn, a kind of person who is rigid, who felt that, well, I don't listen to nobody. I don't care. No, not even Jesus said, take heed as of what you hear. It's not everybody you see on social media. You need to listen to. You need to check your spirit. You need to check uh, what kind of person is this. You know, what, when I see someone, I could just know who they are <laughs> as they start talking. You know, sometimes I brush through my phone. You know, I'm just going, I'm seeing people preaching and doing all kinds of things. You know, but I'm still, I'm not watching. Then I get to somewhere. I said, okay, let me watch this. You know, my spirit is bearing witness with this. So you need to know what your spirit is bearing witness with. It's not everything that is out there that is for you. If you're sensitive, you'll be at the right place at the right time. If you're not sensitive, you're going to miss it. You know, the Holy Spirit has a way of showing you what to do. To benefit from your prophetic company, be in a place of being thankful for the gift you have received. In a place where, Lord, I thank you for this ministry gift. Lord, I, I thank you for this ministry gift. Lord, I thank you. You know, and this is so powerful. <laughs> Lord, I thank you for this ministry gift. And you begin to enjoy the flow. There are people that God can give you a word for and say, tell them that word, but you, you, you struggle to share it with them because of how they are. You know, there is how you could carry yourself. It becomes difficult for someone to minister to you. Very difficult. Even if they know what will help you, they're quiet. Why? They, they don't want you to embarrass them. They don't want you to insult them or abuse them. So we, we need to be meek to partake of what God has given. If God has given something, what we should, he said, what, it is by meekness we receive the engrafted word. So meek attitude is important if you're going to have more manifestation, if you're going to have more visitation, if you're going to have more release of the Spirit. Your prophetic company was meant to be enjoyed and not to be endured. <laughs> okay, if you're watching this broadcast, this is all I could do. And I'm looking forward to talking to more people today, sharing more of the word today. And if you're watching this broadcast, you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can say this after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart, that God have raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. To pray that prayer with me means you're born again. And the Spirit of God will lead you from this day forward. Now, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, This Faith Man Teachings on YouTube. When you subscribe, you will never remain the same. And you can also watch me every day by going to finishworktv.com. Finishwork TV stream 24 7, changing lives around the world. And also, you can get our books by going to Amazon.com. There is greatness in you. And for the things you need to know about your future, there is greatness in you. And for the things you need to know about your futures available on Amazon.com. And also, if you're watching me here and you want to connect with me on Facebook, on Facebook is Faithman Weather on Facebook. You can connect with me on Facebook if you have a question to ask, you want to reach out to me, or you can my official page is Apostle Faithman Weather. That's my official page. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to consider partnering with this ministry. Partnership is strategic. 
as we take this message of Jesus to many people around the world, you can partner with us by going to finishworktv.com, finishworktv.com and slash giving. And you can give from there. I pray the blessings of the Lord will rest upon you. Until I see you on my next broadcast. Don't forget this Satan is defeated, Jesus is exalted, and the will of God will come to pass in your life. Blessings to you.